Assalamualaikum Syekh. Um, attending in the ceremony here brings out the third type of fear you mentioned just now by having a whip at the back. So, uh, my question is, are we allowed uh, to lie about our good deeds or ibadah in order uh, to protect ourselves from being a riya or something like this? Because uh, in the Riwayat Muslim, uh, Ibn Shihab said he never witnessed Rasulullah allowed uh, lie other than the three situations which is in war or to bring peace or between wife and husband. So uh, are we allowed to uh, lie to someone saying that no, 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 I'm not fasting today, just I don't want to eat. That's all. Okay. Okay, what opinion? Thank you, Sheikh. The hadith is authentic, but I don't know if it's by Ibn Shihab because I don't know who the narrator is. Uh, the hadith is authentic. لا يحل الكذب إلا في ثلاث. It is not permissible to lie except in three situations. So these situations are in war. Number two, when reconciling between two uh, fighting individuals or factions, to reconcile between them. Number three, a spouse lying to his or her spouse in things that would increase the, ima the, the love between them. So your wife says, am I beautiful? It says, <laughs> <laughs> you get a smack on your face and you will not be able to see for five days until the swollen is gone. I tried this so many times, so don't try it at home. <laughs> she says, am I beautiful? She says, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I don't know, yani, when you ask me this question, she comes to you in a dress. Am I beautiful? The dress is almost going to break, you know, because of her overweight, but you say, Wallahi, I don't know. Is the dress making you beautiful or you're making the dress beautiful? <laughs> this would give you six months path, pass. You can do whatever you want. So this kind of lying is halal. But when you expand it, then you say, okay, can I lie when my father says, did you pray in the masjid? When my father says, did you do your homework? And you didn't. Now here, Lying is haram. So what to do? Akhi, the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, inna fil ma'arid la manduhatan anil kathib. Ma'arid in Arabic means to camouflage your answer. Not to any straightly answer. Someone says, Shaykh, do you smoke? Or did you smoke? And you say, and you did smoke. For example, a'udhu billah. And you say, Astaghfirullah wa tubu Who in his right mind would smoke? Khalas. Did I lie? I didn't. Likewise, the Prophet when was asked, alayhi salam, which tribe are you from? He said, first of all, tell us how many were the army of Quraysh. And the man told him. Then he said, okay, now you answer my question. Which tribe from Quraysh? He says, from water. Water is the name of well, the well of uh, um, Kuala Lumpur, the well of Perlis, the well of this, meaning it's a location. But the Prophet meant that we are from water, meaning seamen, like all humans, are born from water. So the Prophet did not lie, and he left, alayhi salatu So whenever you're asked something that you cannot answer, dodge the question. Some people come to me and say, Sheikh, I proposed to a woman last week and I asked her if she was a virgin or not or she, did she have relationship or not. What kind of a man is he? And I say to sisters who ask me this question, a proposal came and the man asked me this, what should I do? So kick him out. Or at least let your father kick him out. No reputable woman would accept such a question, even if she had a relationship. Any woman who had a relationship, she should conceal it between her and Allah. Khalas. Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. Someone asks you, you don't answer. So what do I do? You kick him out. He's not worthy. This guy is a nutcase. 
In three, four months, you're gonna come to me in counseling, I know. I'm gonna get rich, I'm gonna pay the down payment of my boat, inshallah, I don't know. So, no, avoid this totally, inshallah. So lying, akhi, is haram. Now, there are cases that may not be mentioned in the three, but logic indicates that they should fall. I'm in my house, someone is running away from a kafir who wants to kill him or from an oppressor. And I know this guy is innocent, or at least he is a passerby. He comes and hides in my house. And the killer comes and says, is so-and-so in your house? So, Allah, I don't lie. He's, he's, look at him. <laughs> I'm killing him. No, you have to lie in this to save a soul. So this is higher, it's, it's greater than the three mentioned, and you have to do the math, and Allah knows best. All right, thank you.